Hey guys, it's Crypto Llama here, and today I wanted to do a bit of a dive into SPS as I think the next few months are going to be very interesting considering price action. But before I do, I wanted to let you guys in on something special that I've been working on in the background for the past few weeks. Uh, now, you may know from my own background that I've been working in financial markets for the majority of my life trading shares, Forex and cryptocurrencies for more than a decade and studying finance finance, trading and investment for another decade before that. But I've had a number of people inquire about it and I'm finally able to share this with you. I will be holding bi-weekly classes. These will be one-on-one -on -one classes where I will move at your pace. We will focus on pivotal technical analysis concepts and how to use them to build a profitable trading plan. We'll also cover topics such as price, pattern, trend analysis, using assets like SPS, DEC and Hive and any other crypto assets that you may be interested in as well. Now, because they're going to be applicable to any financial asset, uh, this will put you in good stead moving forwards to be profitable while also being able to competently form your own analysis in the future. Now, don't worry if you've never ever touched a charting platform in your life before, as I will start from the very beginning for you, so you will need absolutely no prior experience. For those who are already intermediate charters, I think I can still provide some value here as I've noticed through the majority of videos that I watch online on technical analysis, uh, people are teaching these concepts incorrectly. So for advanced charters, I hope to remedy these incorrections and make you more profitable with the correct techniques. These classes will be one-on-one -on -one for the first people who get in and depending on the volume of people interested down the track, I will eventually turn them into group sessions. I know that a lot of you perhaps aren't interested at all in this sort of stuff and that's totally fine. Uh, for all these people, don't worry, I've got you. I'll be doing these classes completely separate to my normal Splinterlands content uh, that you hopefully have come to love and enjoy. It's just that I've devoted most of my life to the markets and I've always had a deep fascination with how they work under the hood and I'm really excited to share that knowledge with you. The classes themselves will have limited spots available as I want to make sure that they're as personalized as possible because it's important to me that each and every one of you is able to grasp the concepts while also being able to freely ask any questions that you may have as we progress through my material. So if you think you can skip out on a couple of coffees a week, I'll leave all the details on how you can get involved in the video description below. Alternatively, if you aren't interested, that's cool too, guys. I just want to provide value wherever I can here, and I think I'm perhaps in the unique position to do that in a different capacity. But that aside, where is SPS heading in the future? Well, we're likely going to see a turning point here between 0.26 and 0.22. The distribution schedule will add to this. At the moment, the circulating supply is only 326 million, which is only 11% of the total SPS planned to be released throughout the distribution schedule, and that's 3 billion tokens in total. Over the longer term, this will consequently dilute the value of SPS, but at the moment, there are just over 300 million tokens available and it will require far less capital to push the needle. This is even more true because trading volume is less than $1 million a day right now. If a whale came in here, they could spike the price with a small amount of capital. Later down the road though, if there is more circulating supply, this will be more difficult to do as it will require more capital. And to understand that concept more, I highly recommend you watch one of my previous videos on understanding market capitalization, which I'll leave in the video description below for you to check after you've watched this video, or you can simply click above for that now. But let's dive right into the technical analysis here for SPS. So we have a falling wedge pattern here, which I can see, and we should have some relief from this soon. Let's also put in our impulsive and corrective wave patterns. So we have our zigzags here, another motive wave here, more corrective zigzags here. and then the start of our last motive wave here. 
We also have some strong bullish divergence here, which we can see on the RSI. Now let's put in our horizontal resistance and support zones. Now that we've got our SNR levels in, we can look for FIB clusters using all time FIB levels. So we can see here that the 61.8% FIB level or the 0.49 cent level is going to be extremely important moving forwards. Uh, we should see a clear of our EMAs here and also likely a cross, giving a lot more weight to this level. We can see how important that cross was late September uh, when SPS just sweeped the level and took off. So it's always important to continually update our analysis and make sure we're listening to what the market is telling us. As we saw here, we had another head and shoulders pattern which alerted us to further price dip. There was actually two more of these reversal patterns previous to this one, which actually alerted us before further price fall. Trendline support doesn't actually exist using proper guidelines and traditional use right now, but we can be certain that these diagonal trend lines will provide some value moving forwards and most likely marry up with our supply and demand zones. So let's put in our supply and demand zones now. So now we can see that conservative traders could look to extend their position once we have an OBV uptick and some volume pops, as well as consolidation in the form of a new wave one and its corrective wave two is also important. And once our short term extended wave three starts, we should see an EMA cross, which would be a nice entry. Invalidation would occur at this longer term wave two correction that we're currently on and would be at the break of the trough at 0.22 cents from back in September, at which point we'd have to respond to what the market is telling us at that stage. If the trough of 0.22 is not broken, a medium term outlook would look something like this. where I could see us moving up to towards the $2 mark. So that's it for me now, guys. As mentioned previously, if you're interested in breaking down and being taught some of these concepts properly, as well as understanding buyers, entries, and exits in markets just like this one, you can follow the linkage in my video description below and get access to my personalized classes. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my content, please like and subscribe as that would mean the world to me. But other than that, I will see you on the blockchain.